Mr. Jaguar and I want to talk to you about high airflow cases or restricted airflow cases in terms of noise and thermals. Which one's better? Let's find out. Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment below. I want to know if you guys have used really high airflow cases or even silent cases and what you thought of it. We're going to take two very different water-cooled cases that I've done builds in and we're going to see sort of what we can find out. The first one is going to be the high airflow case. Now this is the Cooler Master H500M. It has a huge 200 millimeter fan, two of them in fact, on the front. Um, so it's literally wide open for airflow. It's one of the best airflow cases you can get for either air cooling or water cooling. And the second case we're going to discuss to compare them is going to be the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Revision 2. Now, basically, you can see by the name, Be Quiet. This case has all types of sound dampening in order to be really, really quiet. Now, both cases are going to take the opposite approach. One is going to leave everything wide open for really a lot of airflow. The other one has really restricted airflow with the idea that it's going to keep the noise lower. You may be surprised at which one is actually quieter. Let's talk first about the Dark Base Pro 900 Revision 2 by Be Quiet. That's kind of a mouthful, and this is a really big case. Um, as you can see here, I did a really sick water-cooled build. Um, I have radiators on the bottom, the front, and top. And I'm also using Be Quiet Silent Wings 3, which traditionally are very quiet fans, but at the same time giving you high performance, coupled with a nice D5 pump. In this case here, I'm using the Corsair D5 pump that they recently came out with. Um, I like the mounting system. It keeps vibrations to a minimum, which also helps with noise. Now, this Be Quiet case has all types of sort of technology and innovations, you could say, in order to help with sound and noise. The panels are all made in such a way to still allow for movement of air, but at the same time giving you more sound dampening and really restricting the access to the outside. And of course, one of the cons of this whole approach is that your airflow is going to be fairly restricted. Um, even though you still have these little openings where air can come in, it's going to be a lot more closed off than something that had a mesh panel, for example, like the Cooler Master case. And then some characteristics of the Cooler Master H500M. Um, first of all, it has a huge mesh panel on the front allowing for two 200 millimeter fans. You can actually change these if you want to put something else here, but I found that it worked pretty well. In this case, I also water cooled it. Um, I have radiators on the front and on the top, um, so there's plenty of radiator space here. Now, the front with the mesh really becomes almost wide open, and the top is a little more similar to the Be Quiet case um, in the sense that there is a piece of glass on the top, but it has these intelligent little sides where airflow can really come in and out. Obviously, if the top had mesh, I think it would perform even better, but considering that the front is fully a mesh panel, um, the air performance here is really fantastic. So now comparing both cases side by side, which one is quieter? You may be surprised at this, but it's actually the Cooler Master H500M. Um, they're both using pretty high-end hardware. The Cooler Master has a Ryzen 3800X, while the Be Quiet case has a 3900X, and they're both rocking 2080s. Now, why is the Cooler Master case that much more quiet? Well, it's pretty simple. Because of the massive airflow, you're able to keep your fans running at a low RPM. I have the Corsair ML120 Pro fans on the top and on the front. Um, aside from the two 200 millimeter fans that I have on the front pushing air in, um, so these fans can run at a really low RPM while still giving you a high static pressure on your radiators. The end result is that you're going to have 
really quiet performance. You don't have to run these fans that high because there's so much airflow that it's staying nice and cool. And because there's so much airflow, you're also able to run the pump a little bit lower. In a lot of situations, if you have really quiet fans, the D5 pump is going to be the only thing you hear at 100%. Now, traditionally, D5 pumps are very quiet, and they are compared to other pumps. They're very quiet. But if it's the only thing running in your case and you got a jammed at 100%, you're going to hear a little bit of that whine. In this case, I'm able to really bring that down to maybe 70% or 60% of its total RPM, um, and the case is dead quiet. You have to literally put your ear up next to it to hear anything. You don't hear the fans, you don't hear the pump, and the cooling performance is still staggering. I mean, the GPU under stress, you're still getting way below 50C on this 2080. Generally, you'll be between 43C to 47C, depending on how your fans are running. That's really impressive. Now, on the Be Quiet case, yes, you can get it pretty quiet, but the thermals are going to be considerably worse than on the Cooler Master. To get the case more quiet, you're going to have to run these fans at a lower RPM. And what that really means is it's going to be less performance. And yeah, you can't hear it that much, but it's not perfect. And considering the compromise in thermals that you get, um, this case, it seemed to me with the similar hardware, I mean, you can get anywhere from 5 to 10 C difference just because of the impeded airflow in this case. And to consider that you're sacrificing on thermals for silence and i found the cooler master case to actually be more silent with its low rpm fans than this one that have to run the fans at a higher rpm because of the restricted airflow i think that in the future if i really want a silent quiet build most likely i'm going to go for something that has really really high airflow now the be quiet case and technology is definitely very interesting and it's definitely a quiet case like here we're really looking at very minor details in terms of the acoustic performance but the be quiet case is an amazing case to build in it's very innovative you can see here i have sort of that reverse motherboard the be quiet case is an amazing case that offers a lot of room aesthetically it's beautiful it offers many many perks but i think if you want an absolutely super quiet pc I would tend to go towards one that has high airflow instead of more restricted panels where those panels are only keeping you from hearing some of that but you're going to have a lot worse thermals in a high airflow case like the cooler master you're going to have really quiet performance as well as really nice thermals now of course if you have to ramp these fans up to 2000 rpm you would hear them a lot more in the Cooler Master case because it's much more open than you would in the Be Quiet case. But if you have a decent water-cooled setup, you're really not going to have to run them that high. Now, let's say if you're not necessarily water cooling, if you're running just an AIO, same thing's going to apply. If you have that AIO mounted on the front of the Cooler Master, you're going to have much better airflow. And if you have that AIO mounted to the Be Quiet case, you may have a little bit more restricted airflow. That's going to cause some higher temperatures, but if you keep your fan RPMs and your pump speed in check, you're probably not even going to hear it on either case. With the Cooler Master, you're just going to get a little bit better performance, so if that's sort of the route you're going for the maximum thermal performance, definitely get something with that airflow. If you really want quiet and if you want to sacrifice some of the thermal performance as well as engage in some of the perks that the Be Quiet case offers, I mean it's a really nice build quality case. You can do the inverted motherboard. It has a host of features that are pretty awesome. Then you can go that route. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I want to know what you think between high airflow cases and more restricted quiet cases and I'll see you guys on the next video.